tis the season to be jolly. Hey, hey, it's you. Good to see you. Come on in. Your chair's waiting for you. We have a holiday soap today from Noble Otter. It's a Christmas morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But at Christmas time. We are the Barbershop Duet. Hey, it's good to see you. Welcome. Come on in. Your chair's always waiting for you. We've been having fun with our holiday episodes oh. and kind of sad to see them almost be done. I know. But a couple more weeks. We do. Yeah, it's countdown. So if we are mentioned today, we got a big box in the mail. Yes, Phil from Bricktown Grimming just reached out and said, can I send you guys a little Christmas present for being new to the community? And are you kidding? Of course you can. We and y'all, what a sweet, sweet man. Such Look what he's like. Well, first of all, this scared this Sarah's first. mom a bit because it had a hazmat label. So that I was, was guessing first. that there might be some EDPs or splashies in here. I don't right? know. Just forget it. So oh. there's a few things in here. We're just going to mention a few because yeah. uh, we'll save some secrets the, the, the for later. The first one that we wanted to mention and say thank you was this incredible splash, y'all. Yes. This is from Bricktown Grimming. And this is their cardamom and cedar. It's called Christmas, Christmas Truce, Truce y'all. Oh, are you kidding mm -hmm. me? I have been looking for the splash for Lafayette since we did that episode, mm -hmm. and that was in there too. So, Phil, wow. I don't know how to best say thank you, I but know, buddy, so wow, lovely. you just made a smile so Super big thoughtful. all night last night. And yo, uh, we did take an advanced sniff. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just so calming and Gorgeous and, and it's beautiful. Fun. It's just different than some of our other Christmas ones. So we, we, I feel like we have such a plethora now of different types of Christmas scents. Such a fantastic lighter side, woody, mm -hmm. gentle scent to this, y'all. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Phil, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for these. What a sweet gesture and what a beautiful product. I already I put on some of the other one the other day. It's, and it's a lovely mm -hmm. splash. It's really a lovely is. splash. Mm -hmm. So anyway, Brick John Grumman, thank, thank you so you. much. And my buddy Joel, who I mentioned on the show, he had his choice of our entire locker really uh, for what he wanted to use for his run of guys and dolls to shave with. And he chose Bricktown Grimming's Lafayette, y'all. did. Woo! We it is a banger of a sub. Now we understand mm -hmm. it. Oh, and now we have the splash. So thank you so much. Yes, so thank appreciate you. It. And what is our soap, our soap today? today? So we went back and forth. We didn't know if we could sneak this in in time. But then we saw the new edition of this came out. And we're like, I think we can do it. I think it can get here. So this is the 2023 edition of Tis the Season yes. by Noble Otter. And we've done Northern Elixir, this beautiful mm -hmm. menthol laden Very soap. Different. And now I'm excited to Me do their too. Christmas I've one. I've seen this label go by so many times. It's so Christmassy and it just fits the season. How could we not? Oh, but I really don't know you mentioned that what it smells like. This might be one of my top two or three favorite Christmas labels. Because mm -hmm. just looking at it online, it was just beyond beautiful. So, man, am I excited. Are you ready? Yeah, let's meet the Let's sun. meet it. All right, so from the website... The tinsel is hung, garland spirals from bottom to top, and strings of light are reflecting from multicolored glass balls. All the while, the joyous scents of a freshly cut Christmas tree float through the air as you place the lighted star atop your tree. Another holiday season begins as your family completes the long love tradition of selecting, cutting, and adorning the most beautiful tree you've ever seen. Soon, gifts will circle the spaces between the boughs, and kids from 1 to 92 will be secretly peeking at all the name tags on each gift. The fragrance and memories that only a pine tree at Christmas can provide are brought to you in this new and exciting release. Oh, wow. Whoa. That paints a picture. Thank no. you. <laughs> I like to think of these as like movie trailers. Like, right? How does it get you excited about the soap? What does right? it plant in your head? But to it really enjoy? does fit well for this. Like, we're almost at the 23rd, counting down to the actual no, Christmas I Eve stuff. It. So, yes. yes, it's very fitting. And a Christmas Eve type scent. Oh, I right? love it. Literally, that. Christmas Eve type scent. And I don't remember the scent notes, but I know there no. is way more than just an evergreen. Notes. Right? Ooh, is it time? Excited. Let's unbox it. Oh man, am I we excited have two for this holiday one. ones in here. This is from Pasture Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got two, so let's make sure I grab the one. Y'all just luxurious. And it's a black tub. Oh, How fun. Man, 
<laughs> look at the gold. It reflects. <gasps> Y'all, wow. look. I don't know if you can see it look on the camera, the but gold nice. lights up on that soap label. Is that a gorgeous thing or what? <gasps> and a little order of Santa Claus. Oh, the claws. detail. Look, look at the candlelight. The little wreaths all lit up. Oh wow! It's and like and it's a Santa robbery. otter. Look at him. Yes, mm -hmm. right. Okay, I think I had a first impression last time. I think this is gonna be your turn. Wow, this this label is. Quite Tis awesome. the season a side to be jolly. Oh, y'all, we are suckers for the side label. Can Look, I just tell you that? We are. Just like we are. suckers for this. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm excited. Our second noble otter. Okay, right, here we go. Pop the top. Is it Christmas Eve? Let's Clam it! See. Clam it! Clam it! He's. Definitely get the Christmas tree, but there's other things hidden oh. there. Here's here's the pour for those oh. who like. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, yeah. Okay. Oh, she went in for okay. a second okay. whiff. Everybody, I'm not gonna take too much. Whiff. I'm curious right. what your uh, whiff and a half first <laughs> whiff gets. I'm excited. Okay. That's the face. That is the content Christmas face right there, everyone. <laughs> wow. Right? Wow. There's like spices or something else. Like it does feel like Christmas Eve. It feels like nighttime kind of. But it has yeah. there's something beside I mean, obviously there's a little Christmas tree in there. We were expecting that. But yeah. around that Okay, y'all so this yeah, yes is a world of stuff. But, so, but yeah. hold on. I, I am predominantly loving the Christmas tree that's at the center of this. It you, stays in the center too. You know what it reminds me of? I think when we're little. Our senses of scent and taste are really elevated compared to what they are when you get older. Mm -hmm. It's why when you're little, you don't like coffee. You don't like Tabasco. They're too because potent. They, they, yes, yeah. they're very strong. But? One of my favorite memories of all time is when we first moved to our little house in Rodeo, California. And it was the first Christmas. Oh. Because we had a big you know, family room and things right. like that. Right, space and everything. And we brought in a big Christmas tree. And it was a big old Douglas fir, and we had nice. cut it down ourselves. And the first morning that I came out of my room and I smelled our house. You could tell. Like, guys, my childhood joy just overflowed <laughs> because I it's realized Christmas. that our house was going to smell like that for a month and that it wasn't out of a can. It was from a real tree that was going to be in our living room. And, you know, I just remember soaking up that moment. I even remember what little pajamas and little robe I was wearing when that oh. happened. So, yo, this... Captures that. This captures that moment for me of opening my little door and smelling our house in a cold mm -hmm. November morning right. in Rodeo, California, that my house suddenly smelled like Christmas, and I so was not expecting it. That's what this is. Yes. Because there is more There's than more. just the tree in there, but I love that the tree is the star. The tree is, well, the star. Uh -huh. But the tree is the star. You know, what are you it getting? It is, but you know, it's almost actually like how the tree is built. You know, it's a little triangle. Yeah, the pyramid, scent of right? the tree at the bottom is definitely there, and it goes throughout, <gasps> but at the end, it kind of comes down just a little, and that's where I'm getting like a berry, a spice. Uh, it's warm. It's warm. Yes. It's not an outdoor yeah. tree scent, which a lot of ours had so far. This is definitely the inside Christmas tree. Yeah, and you know what? You know what, y'all? Hang on to this. You know how evergreen kind of has a way of slapping you in the face when you first smell it, and that's what it's for. <laughs> It's very bracing. It's very wow, right? Mm -hmm. This is using something a little juicy, a little fruity, a little something to cut that slap. Yeah, that's so what that I think you I'm still getting, get getting the warm. evergreen, but you get it in a warm. And I think that's why I thought about it being in like my house in right, the morning. Right, it's was it wasn't like a full forest. It was like no. the seven drag a tree in here. Like, yeah, it was like, like that smell. It's that. It's you're right. There's just something that keeps it. From from giving you too hard of an evergreen embrace at the top, right. it makes it smell exactly like a Christmas tree. Instead. So I I'm getting less like earthy, less outdoor yeah. tree, and more that indoor like warm fireplaces next to it, helping the aromas move around or something like you know. There's Is something there a else. little gourmand hiding in there. That's what I was trying to figure out. I I don't know if it's supposed to be like a cookie sweet or if it's like a you know, like a mulled wine. Yes, a wine smell. That almost like a red wine. Well, yeah. what's what's the thing that they leave on the the stove? Or a that simmer just, pot. Yes, yeah, right? so, one of those. Something like that that has like a spice and a sweet or a savory something. So not an evergreen forest, but a Christmas tree in your mm -hmm. house. And 
boy, is that beautiful. You know when you watch a Hallmark movie and it has the quintessential, like, holiday inn? I feel like I just walked into the la- that right. lobby. Right. You know, like, someone put cookies out. You can tell there's a brand new tree right at the entryway. The lobby at the Plaza Hotel in Home Alone 2 with all the yeah. Christmas trees. Something like that. Like, it's definitely a picture moment. Yeah. Or standing at Rockefeller Center and standing right. in front of the big tree. Something like that. It's clearly... The moment of Christmas right in front of you. And I love that the other stuff isn't so prominent that it doesn't hide the tree. No, it stays there. The tree there. is still the center of this. Mm-hmm. You know? So if you're an evergreen fan, oh, well, if we got you covered <laughs> But this, this is a different type of evergreen. I will say this. it's still like a warmer kind of yes, vibe. Yes, It's not that warmer, chilly spicier, outdoor. Yeah. Spicier, not the cold. This is an indoor evergreen. Right. I don't know doing that. But, that, but I, I completely agree. There may even be some answers in the leather. Do you want to grab your bowl? I think I watch? should. Oh, I hate to ruin super right? smooth, so beautiful smooth. pores like this, but let's see. Oh, it's got a nice bite back to my stick. Ooh, it's like kind of pinky ish. It is. Yes, this might be our first pinky soap. Huh. Pinky. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there is a little, oh, a little cool. something. Okay. Oh. Wow, we spread her in the bottom here of my custom AKA brush and bowl yes, here. From AKA Brushworks. Okay. It's, it's, uh, it's getting there quite quickly. This looks like you're pouring heavy cream into okay. this bowl. I didn't even really oh. do much work here, but it is wow. a happy leather. Gorgeous. Ooh, look, her nose popped up. She's she was almost heck. asleep, and She's then she said, up. Yep. what is that? Okay. Okay, ready? Yep. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh. Yeah, different? What do you, what do you got? You Ooh. know, a tiny bit of frost... A tiny yeah. bit of cold outside. It just evens out. It just there's, there's a little more of a, a winter scent. Maybe an open window. Right is what that brought mm-hmm. it. Right, you're not outside yet. Get that out of your head. But no, I think no, no. Like an open but there's window. some fresh air, something. Right, just a little fresher. I mean, how do you make evergreen fresher? But they <laughs> but done they it. did it. Oh, and, and then what are the other things the swimming around? Kind of went down a little. Ooh, nice. I still get some spice, yeah, but the sweet yep. is definitely more on the very, very end. And you know what's cool is that you do get the evergreen, but that's not really the sweet part. There's a subtle sweet in here that's from something else. And I think, something I else. think it's another, uh, it's not like a cookie. No, it's, it's not it's, nutty. It could it's not be a nutty fruit or like or, bready, for the best way to say that. Right, right, right. It, but it may be a fruit or like a, yeah. a cooked something. Uh, it's refreshing. It I has don't even that think little, it's like a vanilla. It's I think not it's a more citrus. Of a, Little peppermint? I don't know. Right? But it's I don't it's, know. it's fun because you can't guess it right away. Sure. But it paints the picture yeah. of a Christmas scene right. for sure. Unless you're Sherlock Holmes, you're not going to be able to walk into a Christmas Eve party and go, okay, I smell cranberries yeah, and I smell this and I smell eggnog and I smell this and I smell nutmeg. No, you're not going to do no, that. You're just going to kind of take in this scent and be like, oh. Let it wash over you. Just help inform you. And as to even where just you thinking are. of the title, "Tis the season," like you're getting that for sure. Tis the That's what they married. wrote for us to get. And it, I think it's fine that we can't pick it all out. Whatever that yeah. is, it really does paint the scene. Right. Yep. And you know, when you hear a nice jazz chord, you don't think about every single note because it would drive you crazy. You just <laughs> take it in. That's what this is doing. Mm-hmm. But, 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 but there is sheet music. Let's take a look. Oh boy, those first um, um mm, I get uh, it now. Uh, 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 y'all. Now I get it. Answers are here, y'all. This is crazy sauce. Okay, here we okay. go. First so few starting, are already gonna just starting. Like, Remember we said like there was a subtle sweet in here that wasn't the evergreen that was a little like what is yeah. That? Raspberry. Raspberry the first and one. And then apple. So Please. think about on the stove, The simmer right? pot mm-hmm. she was talking about. Yes, that's exactly what would be in there. I okay, love and then this. these next two explain what I could not find. Ready? Rosemary. Brilliant. Brilliant, That's exactly because it. it's not evergreen. But in your little imagination, think about what happened if you mix evergreen with rosemary. It's here. It's amazing. Gorgeous. And, and then, then like, this, over. this is the little sweeter, but we could, we haven't had this in a soap before, I don't think. Freesia. Freesia. The perfect, Matt, did I say light floor? The perfect, know. just little sweet on top, just, just to keep it balanced yeah. and light and together. Wow, okay. And then going back underneath, we've got a little oak moss, mm-hmm. just to kind of give you that, ah, that little musty clean scent wow, to all it. all I smell is raspberry now, that's funny. Oh. It really kind of gets me right at the top. <laughs> yeah, you and know? With rosemary, that's exactly what I couldn't figure out. It's almost like the evergreen and the raspberry are like a matter antimatter thing, and they <laughs> almost cancel each other out in a gorgeous explosion I of scent. I would have scent. never put those together, but they totally work. 
Whoa. Y'all, it turns the evergreen raspberry and it turns the raspberry evergreen. This is crazy. Right? I'm just seeing on Facebook, you know how they say to do your presentation what? for your cocktails and they put like what? the little branch of something in there what? with the mold fruit smashed oh, at the bottom? A hundred percent raspberry. Okay, okay, and then, but then uh, sorry, yeah. moving on. We're still in shock here. Pine? <laughs> well, who would have thought? Okay, pine. That's the first one we're expecting. Yeah. Okay, fine. So far, that's it. <laughs> Cedar wood. Beautiful. Which there Beautiful. Is, but it's a light wood tea. Yep. It's just enough for me to think like maybe there's a firewood next door or like a cabin built here. And, and then, then this next enigmatic little thing that just keeps it masculine yep. and gorgeous. And a shave soap and a splash. Musk. 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 Yes. To bring it all together and give it that dirty clean. Give it but that it dirty clean. Underneath. And then fur balsam, which kind of makes sense. Oh, I thought you said fur ball. Fur balsam. Fur balsam. <laughs> That's different. That's not fur ball. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Well. What a salad of scents in this. No wonder we couldn't pick things out because they wow. honestly are blended so well. Now that I'm reading the list, I can tell they're there, but I still have to dig. They're very well kind right. of. And you know what? It's a little riddle. Take a whiff and smell through the sweet into what's not. Ready? Go. Right. <laughs> but even so, they blend so well. Right? It's like a symphony that you can zero in and listen to the French horn or zero in and listen to the timpani, mm -hmm. right? You can hear the different parts. Like you can this. almost smell it as a whole, but if you want to get each layer of the tree and like go through the branches and get all the details, you can. But you still have a hard time even figuring out what that is. Somewhere between that apple and the rosemary just make this insane. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> well, there you go. Tis the season I feel indeed. like we just have to throw on some Christmas carols and sit by the tree. Yep, you know, we're just going to mull some wine and take this a little deeper. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. The fruit and the evergreen. I I can't believe this balance. It was right? gorgeous. This is Masterful. I'm kind of glad we waited to do this one till closer to Christmas yes. because it really does get that Christmas Eve, like Man. Christmas spirit. All the presents are wrapped, like the stress of the you know holiday stuff right. is done. Right. Now we're just ready to enjoy it. And y'all, you ever see those things where people who are really good at color, it'll be like a color swatch and it'll start with one color in the upper right corner and it's a different color, very different, usually neon, by the time it gets to the bottom left corner. And somewhere in the middle is just this beautiful sunset of the colors mm -hmm. as they blend that you never see where one stops and the other starts. That's, That's what my brain sees in mm -hmm. this. The evergreen is raspberry. The raspberry is evergreen. The rosemary is the pine. The cedar is the apple. It's yep. like, whoa. They all have friends that they blend perfectly with, and then those all blend together. And the worst part of this sales page, this is a seasonal release, and quantities will I be mean. limited. I'm already thinking about buying a second one of these just for insurance. Right. Or if we can get the splash, because my, oh my. Wow. Oh, it's Christmas in a bowl, everyone. <laughs> what an imagination to yeah. start with the evergreen and be like, okay, this is just the foundation. Where do we go from here? Like, and it's so fun because we've had ones that have, you know, the Christmas tree scent so far. Right. But they're all taken in such different ways. Yeah. It's so cool to see how each artisan, like, morphs it into something that fits their memory or their personality right. in the holiday season. Yeah, we love And they're that. all so different. Yeah, it's like going to a friend's house for Christmas and seeing right? how they do it at their house. Exactly. Because everybody does it a little bit That's different. That's kind of what right? I feel like. We just got an eye into how Noble Otter does Christmas. Oh, this is great. So I know, I know sometimes it's a little tricky. I know when you see the strings of street lights, even stoplights, blink a bright red and green. There's a little bit of something in you that goes, Mrr. and every time you see the Christmas tree lot take over your favorite used car dealership, Mrr. and every time you see the eggnog take over the space where your fat free milk should have been. Mrr. But you know what? You start putting all those together. You start feeling the kindness that man shows to man at this time of year because of all those little reminders that once a year, we get to be good to each other. Folks, tis the season, cause you just got your own. So head over to NobleOtter.com where you'll find this and a bunch of other cool stuff. beautifully Christmas and somehow the way that that evergreen and raspberry disappear into each other and come back in an explosion of Christmas 
is absolutely magnificent, and it's what is setting this apart for me as something exceptional. And speaking of exceptional, this lather, well, this is like a special occasion lather, y'all. It's just beautiful, deluxe on my face. It just sits. You can feel how thick it is and warm and nice on your face so your razor just knows exactly how to find the grain of your beard. And man, Sarah loves on our legs too. Thank you, Noble Otter. We're so excited for the spring to come. Welcome to Messages. So this Saturday on Instagram Live, stay tuned because the man himself is going to visit us and yes. come and talk to you. Folks, I used to work for a children's theater company and I got to know Santa really well. In fact, here he is. <laughs> so on Saturday, be here at six o'clock Eastern, three o'clock Pacific on Instagram yes. and you will get to see Santa Claus. And if you sign up for a spot right now, you can go live with him and tell him what you want for Christmas and ask him, any ask questions. him anything you want. And if you are on the live, you will receive a small keepsake in the mail courtesy of Ariana and Evans. We really hope to see you there. And spend some Christmas time with us. Wow, this label, I gotta say, even in people's shave of the days that we're posting, it looked awesome. But seeing it under the light reflecting, right. quite a thing. And let's have a grown-up conversation. We've done a couple of evergreen scents this holiday mm -hmm. season. They're so different. They're all so different. Much like every Christmas tree is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. and by the time each artisan decorates it, it's so different that I love collecting them for our locker because I, know, I get I really, to know their own personalities. You can't have too many. At first I thought we might be overdoing it, with all, but no, they're no. so different and fun. And it was great because about a month and a half ago, I was like, you know, we don't have anything evergreen in our he locker. He said those exact words. Yo, noble <laughs> otter, my Christmas dreams have come true and Santa is real. Mm -hmm. Thank you for making this because this hits that spot it in me. It really does. Oh. It sets that Christmas tone and it just makes you smile. Like, yeah. this is what you think of when you think of Christmas. Oh. And my nose, just for a brief few minutes, will think it's back in Rodeo with my little family about ready to have dinner and open some presents. So, folks, thank you for that. Don't forget, your next appointment with the Barbershop Duet. You will smell cheerier just watching this. Yeah.